All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to properly roll the sleeves on your Marine Corps camis so that you meet regulations and you don't get blasted by your higher up. So if that's what you wanna know, stay tuned. All right guys, so rolling the sleeves on your camis is an annoyingly necessary part of the daily routine in the life of a Marine. So how do you actually do this? Well, for those of you who've forgotten or for those of you who are just curious, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your blouse out flat on a flat surface like this with the obviously facing upwards. The first thing you're gonna do, obviously make sure it's nice and flat, then you're gonna go to your sleeves and make sure that the buttons are buttoned on the furthest out button. So there are a number of button holes here to tighten the sleeves. Well, you're gonna button it on the furthest out one so that it's not constricted at all. You're gonna do that on both sides. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the bottom of your blouse and you're gonna flip it up and over. Now, this may look kind of funny, but this is how you do it because well, this is how you do it. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the seam or the fold and you're gonna extend that all the way down the sleeves. Now, depending on the size of your arms is gonna depend on how thick the fold is. So if you're a skinny ass little guy with no, you know, no muscle strength, then you're gonna have huge folds. If you're a giant jack dude, then you might not even have to fold it at all. But for me, I have to fold it about two fingers width um, in order to get the proper, uh, proper width for my biceps. And then you're gonna start folding. So what you're gonna do in order to start folding is you're basically going to go to the end of the sleeve, to the end of the, the sleeve that you're trying to fold, and you're gonna fold it over. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch that fold between your forefinger and your thumb. Then you're simply gonna fold that over. Now, it's important that you make sure to smooth this out every time you fold it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep hold of this fold and I'm going to ensure that I don't have any creases or seams or anything unnecessary. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over and make sure there's no excess fabric coming through there. I'm gonna make sure I got a nice, nice good first fold. And then I'm simply gonna do that again. So what you're gonna, what this does is it's very important that you're going through and you're first of all keeping hold of the fold because if you let that go, you're gonna lose that and it's basically gonna ruin the whole thing but then also that you're smoothing it out as you go. So each time you fold it over, you don't want any crevices or creases or excess fabric or anything like that. So you can see I got a nice smooth section here. Then I'm gonna fold it over again, make sure I don't have any excess fabric or folds or wrinkles there. Then I'm gonna keep in hold of the fold. I'm gonna do this again. And you essentially do this all the way up the sleeve. So as you can see, the whole time, I'm keeping hold of that fold with my thumb and forefinger. And then the rest of my time is working, getting, getting an even fold, smoothing out any wrinkles, smoothing out any excess. Then you always fold it over, check the other side. So here I've got a wrinkle, so I gotta smooth that out or that'll become a problem in the later folds. So I smooth that out, okay, it's good. Then I'm gonna fold it again. So this is just, this is just learning the process, learning how to work it up, keeping hold of that fold and making sure your, your sleeves, your sleeve, sleeve folds don't get too wide or too narrow. Um, again, making sure that each time you flip it over and check the other side for wrinkles, for uh, problems, for anything else that's gonna cause problems. So there, I've got smooth again. So I'm gonna fold it again. So now we're getting near the top. So you always know now how far up you fold it is completely up to you. Um, some guys like to fold it way, way up into the sh uh, into the, the blouse itself. Other guys fold it, you know, then you've got your gunny sleeves where you just basically roll it a couple times and they look terrible, but nobody cares because you're high in the ranks, i.e. the term gunny sleeves. So I like to fold it so it's just below the top of the, um, of the, shoulder, uh, of the shoulder pouches here. So I'm gonna fold it once more so I've got nice high sleeves. So I've got a nice, um, we call it a Dorito here. You can see the, the triangle made from the upper pocket. You wanna make sure that you can see that Dorito to some extent in your folds. You're still smoothing, smoothing out the sections and there you go. So now I've got a nice fold all the way up to the shoulder. So what does this look like when it's on me? Well, I'm gonna throw this blouse on. We'll see what it looks like on just the one sleeve. Let's do it. All right, guys, well, as I showed you on this blouse, um, I've got the one sleeve folded and the other unfolded. So let's throw this on and let's see how the actual width works with my arm. So you don't want them to be too ridiculously tight so it's constricting your veins. You also don't want it to be too loose so that it looks like crap. You want it to be just right so that it's functional 
but not crazy. So yes, I have rank. I am just not wearing it on my collar. So don't give me crap about that. So there we go. So this is, I like, the, I think this is just about right. So you can see it's not crazy tight. You know, my veins on my arm aren't popping out a crazy large amount, but it's tight enough that it looks decent. It looks pretty good. I don't have a whole bunch of wrinkles in it. It looks nice. It looks professional. It's not super, super high up to the point where it's in the blouse, but it's also not way down by my elbow and all loose and ugly looking. So there you go. So you can see that's the difference between the rolled sleeve and the, uh, the sleeves down. So sleeves down are for field ops and all kinds of crap like that. Sleeves up is for when you're in the barracks, you're chilling, you're just doing your job. So that's the difference. That's how you fold your sleeves so they look decent, so they look proper, so you're not probably gonna get blasted. And there you go. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, love making these videos for you, but it really helps when you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And hey, I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.